Hello pilots and welcome back to another X-Wing flight video brought to you by Out of Art Gaming. As always, my name is Phil and today we actually have a special game. We're actually using one of our Patreon submitted lists from Zachary who wanted me to fly three rogues. So it did mean having to ask the guys to borrow one but really happy that we were able to get this list on the table. Uh, but before we go into the list, I am joined today by... Uh, and I, my name is Fraser, and it's, uh, I'm really glad to be with you, Phil, so thank you for having me again. Yeah, no, great to have you back, Fraser. Obviously, it's, um, I know you don't play as much X-Wing as you used to, but it's nice to have you back to see what is happening and draw you back into the fold a little bit. Oh, I'm always interested. Just the the... Run, if I decided I was going to run the Legion because I wanted to give it a go, and now I'm, I, that's where I'm at. So unfortunately, that does leave a, a bit less time for this one, but but right, we'll very much still in enjoying it. Yeah, we'll get you back in for Flight Academy soon. Oh yeah, I, I really want to come for that if I can. Yeah, well, let's run through those lists. So first things first, we have myself on the left hand side running the Patreon submitted list. We have General Grievous in the Bell up with Outmaneuver, Impervium Plating, and Soulless One. Because why would you put anything else on him? We've got yeah, exactly. In the, first, in the first row, we have Pad Bane with Ion Cannons, False Transponder Codes, Contraband Cybernetics, Xanadu Blood, and Bo Katan Krees. And the final two rogues, we have Magna Guard Protectors, both with Proton Cannons, Energy Shell Charges, and Shield Upgrade. And they have given their guarded condition to Cad Bane. So if they are evading or calculating, they can actually assist Cad Bane in not getting shot up. Which with the amount of ships on the other side could could be quite handy. So uh, take wow. a look at uh, What is Scott running for us today? <sighs> Right, just a small, a small little list for, for Scott today, but uh, he has got uh, two Howl, Howl Chow, I can't pronounce it, Howl Chow prototypes with the uh, grappling struts and energy shell charges. He's got DFS081, also with energy shell charges and the struts, and we have a, uh, we have two, three separatist drones even. Uh, all with Discord missiles and the grappling struts. Then we have DBS32C with fire control systems, K2B4, shield upgrade and destructs, of course. And then we have DIS347, that's the uh, dry fighter, with marksmanship, fire control systems, shield upgrade, the advanced slab, and the interceptor. Boosters. That brings us up to 20 points of shippy goodness. Yeah, I mean, you look at all those vultures, they are two points apiece. Um, and it's the maximum amount of ships you can actually get in a game. And I'm not going to lie, yeah. when Scott was putting down all the ships, I was just like, this is going to take a while to get through. Um, just want to clarify a couple of cards that we have on there that we don't see very often. Obviously, DBS-32C has the K2B4 tactical relay. Uh, while a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 defends, it may spend one calculate token. If it does, add an evade result unless the attacker chooses to gain one strain. Which is quite a fun tactical relay there. And obviously, we he, he was always a, a popular choice for my brother. He, he quite liked him. Also a separatist play. Yeah, so, yeah I, I, I do like him. Like him. And we're quite common. Yeah. So it'll be interesting yeah, to see how two favourites. It would always come down to in old squad building the points remaining, and that would be his choice because they were both very, very good fun and very helpful. Yeah, I believe hard to remember the old ones, but at the moment K two B four is six points. And Kraken, who is really good during the end phase, he may choose up to three friendly ships at range zero to three. If you mm. do, each of those ships does not remove one calculate token. And as you can imagine, that's a 10 point tactical relay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really. I mean, you look at this, you, you've got six vultures. 
that means you would have potentially nine calculates on the board there for them to just share amongst themselves. Oh, I love that. I, it, it feels really droidy, this, this uh, Scott's list, because it's just packed full of basic yeah. level droids. They're all going to share the tokens and just be a, a, a pain. It Whereas this is a, your list is much more, um, I won't call it traditional sectors, but much more bulkier, heavy hitting, yeah, nasty, yeah. horrible. And it's great to see these. I haven't actually seen these flown yet, the uh, Magna Guard fighters. So I'm very excited. Yeah, I've not seen the Magna Guard protectors flown before. I've seen the rogues quite a few times and I've flown them myself and I really enjoy them. And I will say, that after flying this list, it really made me want to pick up another pack of the rogues so that I could have three to fly. Yeah. Because it was actually quite good fun. Um, I will point out that you may see focus tokens going down for all the droids. That's purely for the fact that I do not have a million calculate tokens. So although it's although they are focus tokens on those vultures on what well, Scott's list will be using focus tokens, they are representing calculates. And because I have a mix of focus and calculate on my side, we stuck with calculates of focus on my we could actually differ on what because Grievous and CAD use focus, but the Magnus use calculates. So nice. there are points where those vultures have focuses. Don't worry, we're not going mad. We're not squinting at the icon. It is calculates. But again, I think I have three or four of the tokens. So another order might have to go in at some point to get some more of those. I mean, those, those are nice tokens. And, and you got them from buy the same token. Yes, picked them up from buy the same token. Hashtag um, not spawn not sponsored this time um they are great tokens because they're just so easily visible for mm. you guys watching and they're just really nice looking like it's almost a shame when i'm playing on another table and you've got guys on on the recorded table using them and i'm like oh i've got to use my other tokens but i want to use the big ones because they're cool they are very satisfying i'm not going to agree but, um, yeah, but obviously I know that you tend to come up against Separatists rather than fly them yourself. Obviously your brother's a Separatist player and we've got a few in our local community. Mm -hmm. Which of these two lists would you be more concerned about flying against, do you reckon? Well, that's actually I think that's a really tough answer, uh, question to answer, actually, because... I, my first, when we said that, my first uh, answer was going to be Scott's list because I, there's just so much to deal with. And uh, being an Empire Republic first order player, you, you're going to have less, uh, more like you're going to have more, less stuff, especially Republic, I'd say, uh, less stuff, more heavy hero based lists. And you've got eight attacks in this list so that that would be a concern for me but now one look uh, with these uh rogue Magna Guard fighters they're pretty punchy well they can be pretty punchy yeah those proton cannons on there are really good obviously you can't just rinse repeat with them but they are incredibly powerful four dice in the bullseye range two to three Mm -hmm. spend the two charges and turn either a focus or a hit into a crit that's just crazy and then if you are able to add marksmanship to a ship that has proton cannons oh yeah a great combo oh, it's it's very brutal um but yeah i mean when when zachary sent me this list i was just like yes Yes, I'm definitely going to fly this. This looks like so much fun, and it really was. And I like using Grievous as well. I'd love to fly, actually. That, that is a list I'd actually love to fly. I'd love to fly. And I've not seen the Proton uh, the proton Cannon used. Uh, I don't think I've had a game with, with it. 
So, uh, I don't know if like, you can say much without spoilers at this point. Uh, what's it like? Cause it's, a, it's like a bullseye shot. How easy is it to get a bullseye shot with those guys? It's not too bad, actually, for the Proton Cannon, because, again, I think going up against a big swarm list like this, it does make it a bit easier, because... Like the, they're, they're obviously quite close together, so your your margin of error to get that bullseye is a lot lower. But I have flown them at other times against more AC ships, and the bullseye mechanic is one of those ones which you sort of you go, oh, it's going to be tricky to line up. But some ships you can do it quite easily. I mean, the Magna Card. That's, that's what I'm have, thinking. Yeah, it does have a really good action bar, obviously calculate to red barrel roll or calculate to boost um stick an mm. engine upgrade on there and then you've obviously got a boost like a white boost which is really cool so you do have that bit of maneuverability and unfortunately i just missed it just missed the bullseye by oh because that looks like running, running you're there doesn't it From yeah here. i was running parallel with that tri-fighter there oh um, damn it the problem is I completely forgot about energy shell charges because I was so focused on the bullseye, so I missed the energy shell charge possibility. Um, but it is it is just it's a really good mechanic to use, and again, you can't use it every turn, but I do really like it. Oh, that's a big hit in there. Two hits and a crit. Having to spend that evade to lose that shield on DIS got very much using that tri-fighter as bait early on mm. that was from grievous that shot so outmaneuver was live as well as um grievous's ability to re-roll two of your dice if you're not in the opponent's firing arc delightful that that is a fantastic combo one we've I've always loved outmaneuver no no i haven't i've always been fighting outmaneuver grievous and i've always been killed by it what am i talking about it's it's very brutal. It is. It's, it's, it's all it's disgusting. I always see Grievous as a bit of a pocket ace. He's not quite ace tier because of the I think because of his um, dial. Mm. He, I would definitely say pocket ace. There, he's very close. Um, when yeah, he works, he works. That yeah. that's how I describe it. If you can get that that beautiful oh you can't shoot me shot you're laughing and but then he's only i4 as well one. yeah but impervious plating and soulless one being zero points on him is just fantastic what more do you two want more, uh, two more hits going in and there we go half pointing dis early on should point out we are playing chance engagement uh most of you probably would have noticed by the singular objective in the middle so half points are live in this one which is i'm not gonna lie quite nice to be honest i do did get to the point where i started missing half points just not used to it these days yeah yeah um scott managing to sneak two points by having a ship at range 2 of the center objective uncontested very so nice gets the two points there obviously if both players have ships at range 2 you get a point each but if it's Not uncontested you get the two points but I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm really intrigued what he's doing with the tripod it's, it's very much a bait he's, he usually gets bait isn't he yeah well, he's got the intercept booster on there, so at the moment he has access to advanced slam to get out. Of mm. So it's sort of like draw, draw my ships in, and then pounce with the vultures, which kind of looks like I'm falling into that trap a bit. But I mean, I don't envy Scott having to fly six ships in formation like that. No, I'm just thinking that. How often have we? absolutely screwed up our formation flying at the most crucial of points yeah i mean so far touch word i've done all right but it's only been two turns so we'll have to yeah. see how it goes but yeah you almost wish that you just could bring the wing tool along from the huge battle games yeah just purely for this and go look they're all doing a one hard i'm just gonna put a token there to do it they're definitely not gonna bump 
That would be nice. I, I'm just I'm thinking of this bait mechanic or oh, his, his bait plan rather is, is looking very strong at the moment. Yeah. I was wondering if if the, if he was almost sacrificial and he just wanted to kill him before he could, so you could just draw on his vultures nice and slowly. Possibly. I mean, DIS isn't a huge amount of points and he can be quite handy, but I think, yeah, with with those vultures, I mean, you look, you've got three sets of Discord missiles in there mm -hmm. and three sets of energy shell charges. Discord missiles obviously shooting out the um, buzz droids is really annoying and I I always find buzz droids really confusing because you very rarely see them when they do appear you're just like uh, how do they work again like what how, how do I can I shoot them how do I get rid of them mm. what are they why are they so annoying it, it can be quite tricky to like figure out how to do yeah. those um, I always thought that I found the best tactic for me was uh, it was on a Y wing a nice barrel roll to then yeah. not go through it again was I think was my best play involving those something like that yeah, yeah. but it's really tricky trying to take yeah. those um, those vultures down I really wish I had some cluster missiles at this point yeah that would be a nice play here I'm intrigued. So the the tri is not dead. I'm wondering exactly how that's gonna benefit Scott. I can't. Well, he, he's, like he, he stuck a shield upgrade on it, so maybe it wasn't as sacrificial as I, I thought it might be. I kind of feel that it was definitely um, there for bait. To yeah. Try and force me to chase it and then draw in, which is exactly what it's doing. I mean, it's still got one use of the intercept booster of the slam left so let's see three forward so three back left i'm gonna there. guess let's see which he's just popping it on the dial so he has it remembered but yeah with with the slam <laughs> we don't see it very often but you could actually do another maneuver off the back of it at the same speed as the previous maneuver so you can really get across the board as you see he is zipped right across there but no i think that's fantastic he he's gone right right i've drawn you in my job's done in you come vultures yeah puts me in a really awkward position because obviously i had that rock in the way so i couldn't just fly all three of them straight after him and then i have seven other ships bearing down on me in this case mm. so Oh, I kind of have to sort of disengage and go. You know what? I've got to turn in now. Got to yeah. turn in. Um, and the and the speed on the rogue fighter, the fastest speed is four. Uh, five. Five. five okay. okay. And it has a five play turn. So wow. I actually think it's got a pretty solid dial. So all of the hard turns, all of the banks. Uh, three hard is red. Uh, one and two bank of blue. It has uh, two, three, four blue straight, white five, red K five turn, and the two talon is. That's a red. that's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, yeah. really solid dart, and just I think generally a really good stat line: two attack, mm. two evade, five health, two shields. Um, solid action bar. Generally, you can get a lot of things. You can put 18 points of upgrades onto the Magna Guard. And with CAD, you can also put 18, and he gets access to Xanadu Blood, which gives you a crew and a device slot as well. And it gives him the cloak, doesn't it? It gives you the cloak as well, but... Yeah. I mean, I didn't bother... With the cloak. I mean, I love the cloak. Obviously, people that have listened to the channel for a while know that I do love the Phantom. And we had Darren with his triple Phantoms on last week, which was, oh, that was good. phenomenal. I love, love the Phantom. Oh, I need to do a list like that. It's one of my dream lists because I remember the four Phantom lists with Duke, and I thought that's beautiful in its simplicity. But 
I don't know if we can do that anymore, but... Uh, no, because no. Uh, the Sigmas are six points... Six points a pop? Yeah. Yeah, I six points so. a pop, so you can't, you can't fit them in. Um, Shame. Our first two loads of Discord missiles are being oh, shot. Oh, those horrible things. Yeah. And... Again, we mentioned it earlier, I don't come across Discord missiles and buzz droids very often, so I basically had a mini panic and went, oh, well, there's nothing I can do right now. So we did start clearing up at the end of turn three, and then Scott showed me the card and what it all says on there, and I was like, hold on. So I can shoot this then. So we might yeah. be looking to clear up, but we do roll it back a bit, and I do get to take some shots at it, which we will see in just a moment. Uh, and as yeah, you know, it, a little bit of a mistake there. The wrong ship was picked up and placed back. Oh, that's all right. It's, it's always good when it's just like a second before and you can just backtrack. It's a lot more difficult when you're three turns late and you're, oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, looking back at it now, the tri is a little bit out of position. It should be about a one bank further forward. But you know what? He's out of range, so it's fine. Yeah, that's the, yeah. he's not getting shot. So, yeah. I'm just picturing he's just going to do a massive loop round and maybe come back if there's time. But I think he's done his job, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, it's a fast little ship. Um, it would have been nice to have taken it out and get those full four points because that's yeah. a huge... A huge bit of uh, points there, and one less gun. I mean, Mark's yeah. ship, my control system, that's that's a big gun there. And they do have the biggest natural gun as well. Little squishy interceptor with three dice natural. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Um, but whilst we're waiting for, for me to realise and remember that you can shoot those buzz droids, uh, just want to remind you guys, if you do enjoy what we're doing here at Out of Bike Gaming, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. One of our tiers uh, does actually allow you to submit a list to us that we will endeavour to fly on the table, exactly like we are doing today. Um, so Zachary joined up and he hit the tier which allowed him to send us a list. And it was a fantastic list. And we were more than happy to play it. We did want to get it on the channel sooner. But unfortunately, we weren't able to get down to play. But we finally got it on the board. And it is really cool. And the Rogues, they're good fun, guys. If you've not had a chance to use them, give them a go. But if you do like what we're doing and you want to support us and submit lists to us, Patreon link is in the description below. Amazing. Yeah, you mentioned you, you said Phil when um, we mentioned the cloak, I, and you said didn't you didn't really bother. I actually think that makes a lot of sense here. Let's see what we actually let's see what we got going on. So one buzz droid down. Nice. Um, like you you're, you're, you've got support vessels for cads. So I don't think the cloak is, and is particularly ideal in in this situation. Whereas if you had him more of a He's out by himself being all solo and stealthy, then he might be worth it. So, I, think, I, I definitely agree. And if he wasn't flying in a formation, I would definitely probably possibly have used that cloak to reposition in that early phase of the game or a phase of the round because that can be really powerful. Um, I love doing it with phantoms and just going, ah, I'm over here now. And then just sort of completely changing where you're approaching from or even just getting up even quicker. But again, yeah, I've got support ships with me, so I kind of want to stick in that and um, focus firing down as best as possible. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I shouldn't need to focus fire too much. It is only three hull on each drone, but having potentially two shots just to take one down is going to be handy because they might not have the best offense but i uh i want to i want to see if i can get rid of them as quickly as possible 
I think we're getting to a point now where you would ideally like a kill. Yeah. Just to stop everything um, swarming into you. Well, it's just seeing all those calculates going down and knowing that if Scott starts with like the purple prototype, mm-hmm. he can just use a calculate from like the one at the back and then still have a calculate. Yeah. And not only that, obviously, he's, I'm going to be shooting first because I'm all initiative four and his highest is initiative three. So he can then, again, spend a calculate from one of the ones at the back to keep it alive and then or even even spend his own calculate with K2B4 and then use a calculate later on down the line just to sort of say, yeah, now I'm having a good shot. The only thing it can't do is obviously Discord or energy shells. It needs to have its own calculate. It can't can't network calculations that to use that as a shot but Mm. still Almost looks like they're train tracked up, ready to go through that gap there. I was, yeah, I was just thinking that. I'm intrigued to see who who you're going to target first. It's a tough one because the only real difference is the initiative and the loadout. I mean, energy shell charges are kind of brutal. Um, they're really really good on the droids Discord missiles two of them have already been shot so yellow and red have already shot there so they're now down just to regular guns so I almost don't have to worry Um, DBS 32C is just way too far back for me to even bother with and I think I I would personally prefer to take a ship out rather than have to spend possibly all three or all four of my shots taking one ship out. The question I do have, have you got a bullseye for your proton cannons? Well, we shall see. We're about to move up. Oh, teasing, moving Grievous first. Oh, I love it. I like he's that a lot. He's in a nice, I like his, he's in a good position there. I would almost, tempted, I would almost be tempted to boost though. I, just to get a really nasty outmanoeuvre shot on one of the guys. Wanting to avoid giving too close of a range shot for the further back ones. Like it that, is the other, that is the other thing to consider though, yeah. And also, with that many ships, it would put me in very close, meaning that I would have to disengage next turn rather than maybe going a bit slower and keeping guns on. I hadn't thought about it. I just looked and said, got what you'd have. You could turn in and you could take on purple or yellow but then you'd have one two three four five others yeah yeah five other ships to, to worry about and uh no thank you Basically. yeah no, no bad bad idea i mean i'd be i would hate it but i'd be more willing to sacrifice a magna guard protector to all those guns than lose Grievous. I think Grievous is definitely going to be worth his money more um, in the long run. Yeah. So, there we go. So, swapping those tokens over, so it's clearer now. As yeah. As well as my calculates on the board. I need to get more calculates. I really do. You do. But your droidy people have got droidy calculates and your live people have got yes. focusy tokens. There you go. But it is time to see if I can delete some ships off the board. But there is another set of buzz droids coming out there. Oh, my goodness. And that is from the unmarked Separatist drone at the back. So let's do the old conga line and mark everything up as best we can.
one of the weaknesses for me was always that you can chuck them so far. Yeah, just a three-speed manoeuvre forward or bank out, out of them is just... It is kind of incredible. Well, when they came out, I was just about getting on top of the how they got bombs, always check if you're in a place for bombs, are you going to get hit by bombs? And I was getting really on top of that. And then... Oh no, I can just launch them forward three and back three. It, it's similar to Trajectory Simulator. Yeah, exactly. But it, again, makes complete and utter sense. Just checking the ranges here to see where I'm going to go with us. I'm just going to mention it for any newbies out there. If you have tried to tra Trajectory Simulator and you haven't, and you've gone over your own bomb, or you've been exploded by the own bomb that you launched. That's fine, we've all done it. Yes. Um, if you have a ship that can, has an action to boost or barrel after you've launched a bomb, use that action. Like, dropping or launching a device then barreling is really good. Um, oh, so we do have a proton cannon from red going into yellow. Triggering that, so oh, we nice. have two hits and a crit going in there. What's the, what's the range on the proton can? Is it two to three? Two to three, yeah. Two to three. So the so the closest guy can't use his. Okay. No. It's a. It's unfortunate that these are in a weird way the Magna Guard protector because they they have the network calculation ability rather than the dead to rights ability which Cad Bane has because right yeah. now that so yeah Proton Cannon Marksmanship dead to rights is a very brutal combination because your opponent cannot modify using green tokens so suddenly is going oh no I've got to take all these dice and hope that I natural out so spending reds calculate to change that focus. Okay. Debating whether the K2B4 with his own calculate to force me to take a strain or get an evade. Or what to do. It is a it is big, so he's got he's got to think about it and think, right, I could have a modified shot here, or I could re reduce the reduce it down so he's spending the calculate and I already had the strain token in my hand going nope you're not getting another evade so that's a crit on yellow fingers crossed for direct hit because that would be brilliant that's what we want instead it's disable power regulator that's not bad that's for, for droids that's that's not that's not a bad well, the droids is bad for you shooting a droids. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I would prefer direct hit. That would have been much more fun. But you know what? We've got damage in. So that's another point for me because they are seriously dirt cheap. So it does mean having to put, if I want to take him out, having to put another shot into him. That is unfortunate. Um, Possibly. I mean, as Grievous shot, you could use Grievous because he's the furthest away. Yeah, Grievous has not shot and he is now shooting, using his reroll, not triggering, but spending his focus. So that is hit crit into yellow. Really want to get rid of him and boom, the vulture is down. Fantastic. So that so, now leaves you, uh, your closer rogue fighters can maybe do a nice little shot into. Mr. Purple. Yes. Obviously. I'm just thinking, of, of course, the, the Proton Cannon has to be range 2 to 3. If you think about it, it'd be 5 dice at range 1. Uh, yes, because it doesn't have the icon to say that it doesn't get a range bonus. And a 5 dice bullseye, again, especially if you had it on CAD with marksmanship, would be horrible. That'd be broken. That's insane. I mean... It, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at most of the cannons, they're either like one to two or two to three. 
they, they, they're either or. They're never range one, two, three, I, if I remember right now. I'm actually just going to double check that. Iron cannon? Or, uh, I want to say iron cannon. Practically, but iron cannon are the exception. But yeah, yeah, there you go. But they're not doing lots of damage. It's always one Ooh. damage and an effect. Oh, that's nasty. Hits there. Two I think that's a range one into purple. Spending the character to try and get that evade, and I am more than happy to say, nope, I'll take a strain. I have eight health on that thing. Oh, it's yeah. Fine. And I think that leaves... I believe that might leave Cad to shoot. I got a bit distracted looking at other things. There's a lot. There's a lot to pay attention to on this board. Yeah, the woman's nice. Oh, ion cannon here um, for the additional dice. Okay. And that's all she wrote for yellow and purple. So that is, you know, it took four attacks to take down two droids. That's not terrible. I mean, it would have been nicer to. Like one hit KO them, but you yeah. know what? That's two less shots coming back at me, and it's got rid of one of the energy shell charges as well, and those can be scary. Yeah. Wasn't your best result, but it was certainly a very good result. So I think yeah. you can be happy with that one. Now we want to oh, see if Scott can, can fire back and, yeah. and do any damage. I mean, at the moment, the way I look at it, that's 25% of Scott's list gone. Yeah. He's going to focus everything into blue, isn't he? If it was me, I probably would as well, because it's going to be your best option to get as many guns on target as yeah. possible. Uh, so, one. And they're just beefy ships as well, compared to it, oh, it's yeah, the I mean, best tactic. Eight hull. Um, calculate to evade that. From his buddy, very nice. With that, it's one of those may as well. Calculate can only change one, so if you can yeah. use your body's calculate, just use it. But if that's often the case, though, you get the result, you think, oh, do I want to save it? But when it's just in front of you, you think, I might not get this result next time. So, yeah. Focus is the trickier one to decide on because focus can yeah. change all focus results, whereas calculate can only do one. So we did have a slight moment here where the wrong ship shot their energy shells. But we looked at it and went, well, you know what? The other ship has energy shells, so we just counted it as that. Yeah. So, and still, energy shells are range two to three, so it wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have rolled any more dice. So, again, when you've got four, when you've got six vultures, trying to remember it's... which ones, yeah. Yeah, but the result was the same, so it, it, it yeah. worked out in the end. Cool. Amazing. So that would have been the energy shell charge from orange at the back. Fantastic. Uh, Am I right thinking they recharge? Uh, I haven't seen them for a while. Energy shell charge, I don't believe they recharge. Let's double check. Uh, I could be entirely wrong. Oh, action reload this card. So they do That's what reloaded. I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. It doesn't give you the reload action, but you do have the action to reload those, which is interesting. Yeah. Uh, but there's another set of evades. Focus crit coming in there. Based on whether the last calculator is going to be spent. More evades. These I mean, that's a good roll. Good. That is a good roll you had there. I mean, these rogues are just doing great. I mean, that's four shots come into them, no damage so far. This has been an absolute ideal turn. And then, yeah, absolute, exactly the kind of turn I was expecting here. Or I mean, just no run. damage has gone through. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I was expecting these rogues to soak up a little bit of damage, but, yeah. oh, that's unfortunate. Final shot was the energy shells from green and I still had a calculate so 
Oh, oh, I feel bad for Scott. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping a, a little bit would go through there. It felt like it should have done. Yeah. I think you're very lucky there. I. It was a very good turn for me as well. I mean, I would have liked to have got a bit more damage elsewhere, but you know what? Two drones down and no damage back was fantastic. That's a um, good, good result. I would have yeah, said if you'd lost a couple of hit points, that, or even your shields down on one of them would have been okay, but... I, I would have, yeah, I would have still class that as fairly, fairly average. So I'm, yeah. I'm not doing well here. Now, it really helps to mention the fact that I enjoyed this list because when obviously if you're flying a list and it does well, you are going to enjoy it a little bit more. Oh, I'm, I'm like, I'm really liking it. I'm thinking, oh, well, for the list now, but I can't afford to buy a load of set. I can't do it. I can't, well, I can't buy another thing. faction. Well, the good thing with the rogues is you could pick those up and it, it sort of gives you a doorway into scum and you don't have to pick up loads of stuff for separatists because you could go, I'm only going to have the rogues for, like, I'm going to have the separatists and do, like, rogues, maybe Grievous, maybe, like, Django. So where they do cross factions, it's not too bad, but I know that you only do Empire... I don't have any of those magical cross faction characters now. Yeah. In fact, none of your ships are cross factors. You are the no. faction of First Order? Yeah, no. To first, first Order, Empire, Republic. That was it. Yeah, so that's making it a bit tricky. But it's there because the rogues are fun. They, they look, they're doing so well. I think they're fantastic. And I will say that I do love Scott's flying there. That split around that gas cloud is just brilliant. It looks great. I, I said to Scott, I wish we had enough um, bank tokens to leave them there so you could see it almost as contrails as those these were like the red oh, ones. Like it's just nice. And it's really good flying though, because... Yeah. I, th I have a feeling you were also thinking what I was thinking. Which was, he's going to stay in formation, he's going to pick which direction he goes, keep them together, and you try and fly off, but now it's, well, where do you go now? Yeah, it does make it trickier. And again, he's in a really nice position that he can either, he also has, he'll be able to react to what I do a lot easier. And the droid dial. It's got a 1k turn, so if I end up all in the middle, he could just literally 1k turn all four of them and be like, right, I'm going to shoot you again. And he's got those buzz droids. He's got one buzz droid right in the middle there and one in between unmarked and red, which is going to make it frustrating. Oh, that's, that is tough. It almost makes you think your best move is, if you knew what was going to happen, would your best move be to turn right? Yeah. But if it was me, I think I'd want to go quite fast and left, ha having hoped that Scott either came forward uh, or just moved out of the way enough I could go behind him. Yeah, I mean, it's so tricky because of obviously where that um, gas cloud is as well. It makes it hard to be able to actually turn all of them. Like, blue would be fine, cad possibly, red wouldn't be able to turn past it. Red would have to go straight. Mm. Um, Grievous bumping there, obviously clearly hoping that they were going to go slightly right. Yeah, I think um, it was a good block red, there, to be fair. Yeah, Red clearing and getting up close and personal with some buzz droids, so they're going to attach to the front guides because you can't fit them on the back. Mm -hmm. So... Which so it's often better as well because that's how you make them continually affect you. Yeah, so if I'd have been able to get it on the back guides, I could have just moved away from them. Front guides is okay because I can now, you can range zero them, whereas previously you couldn't range zero them. That's true, I hadn't thought about that. So yeah, you previously you had to get them on your rear guides, move off from them or barrel roll to get away. But your opponent would always put them in the front, wouldn't you? So it was... Oh, you just keep going over them, so barrel, barrel roll was the only choice really for me, I, I remember. Yeah, I mean, there was no way of putting them in the rear guys, because obviously it would have um, interacted with the Red Separatist drone there, so... Yeah. 
But I've got plenty of shields. Um, you never know. Maybe an Anakin Skywalker will appear and shoot them off for me. That'd be nice. Yeah. And if he's got R2D2 just to laser them in the eye. Such a random scene in that movie, but... It was so good. Do you know what? I Because... To the disappointment of all, all the viewers, my, my, my good lady does not like Star Wars. She did watch the new, a new Hope and said, yeah, it was all right, but she doesn't like it. So I've, 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 I've stopped and thought about this a while. And episode three is the best movie in and of itself, I would, I would make a case for. Most well paced. There is an argument for that. I will I say mean, they're all brilliant. One to six. Is definitely the best one of the prequel trilogy. I mean, that lightsaber fight at the end is just fantastic. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, Cad and Red Magna bumping there. Um, yeah, great block. I knew both were going to bump, so I bumped Cad so that he could get the focus. Yeah. And if Red was going to take damage from bumping, he has an additional shield, so it would be less damaging. Um, no, that, that is a good tactic. Um in terms of bumping, I would say. Yeah. Were you were you expecting were you expecting that kind of uh, that you were going to bump into Scott's separatist film, or was that what was the original plan in your mind? I wasn't one hundred percent sure. I thought that he was going to go the other way. So, well, this, who's um, this shot into? Uh, this is Grievous into Yellow. Okay. So, a nice three hits going into there. Uh, orange, sorry, not yellow. Yellow's dead. The orangey yellow. The orange. Um, electing for that range one shot. A lot of crits, by the way. I've seen so many crits already. Uh, they're actually hits. Uh, well, there is a crit in there. They're actually hits. It's just the way that the camera picked it up. For some reason. Oh, that's annoying. Um, it is that. But no, it actually is hitting two crits, so it is is a good roll. He's good okay, yeah, he's, yeah. He's de- he's debating triggering K two B four, which he was a big fan of K two B four, and also debating stealing a calculate. So he was able to steal one. I said nope for K two B four. Like I'll just take a strain. Yeah. So it is just the one going through, but it is a crit, and it is. A console fire, so mm-hmm. I'm kind of okay with that. Again, I would have preferred direct hit, but console fire. Console fire is always a, a big pain in the backside because yeah. I'm one for liking my actions. So yeah. Oh, well, console fire is the one. Yeah, obviously you'd have to use an action to get to yeah it out. Um, oh, one more hit going through, not enough to take out orange. Disappointing, and no, I don't think Cad can clip him. Red probably could, but it's not an ideal shot. No, so it'll just go straight in front of you, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's interesting you've not had any one hit, uh, one hit KOs, which is which is highly highly possible for me, uh, fighting in this like this. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got Cad, and Cad has a really good combo here. He's obviously got dead to right, so while in forward attack, if the defender is in your bullseye, defense dice cannot be modified using green tokens. He also has Bo-Katan Crease. While in forward attack, if you're at range 0 to 1 of the defender, you may re-roll 1 attack die. I love crew Bo. Republic. Bo-Katan, I think yeah. she's... I think she's fantastic. It's a good job I had that as well, because that was a complete blank out, so spend the focus to get 1 and then say, right, you best roll natural evades, which you don't, and you can't avoid it. Yeah. There's a few and cards like that across the factions as well, isn't it? A few characters with the same ability or similar. And it's just a nice, just re-roll one, one attack dice. It's, it's, a, it's a simple ability, but it's just nice it's just fun especially yeah, exactly. like these rogues do want to get in close and it works really well there um 
Ooh, two hits. I believe that is going into... I believe that's going into white. But all evaded, so... Yeah. Not quite as powerful a round of shooting there for me. Um, let's see if I can weather the storm coming back. Uh, Grievous is obviously going to be taking a fair amount of shots here, and he's got one less evade dice. I think with his plating, I think he's going to be all right. That, that's such a great ability. And Solus will give you two additional hull as well. That has been the the thorn in my whatever for ever since that ship turned up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think I miss the fact that I should have only rolled one of eight dice there. So my bad. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Not the strain there, which is, um, yeah. Yeah, it's a strain, yeah, you're right. So I should have rolled one fewer there. But did you remove you your strain token either? We do pick it up a little bit later on, and I will admit, we. It was a bit further on, and we were like, uh. I can't remember what happened. I knew I, I remembered I rolled one of eight. I couldn't remember what the other one was. I now know it was a focus. So it's just one of those easy mistakes to make. And uh, yeah. 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 So uh, White Separatist is actually out of arc of both of those rogues, which is handy. Wow. Uh, DIS Tri Fighter is out of arc. So that's pretty good. We now have the bomb meister. EBS, the hyena going for. I, I like the hyena model. It's really cool. I did love that when that when that turned up in the chat. I thought just a great, just just different to the vault. Felt right. What the steps yeah. have the bomber looks a lot like the vulture. It was beautiful. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, Was it Admiral Trait you launched them first or something? I believe so. Yeah. Um, so, taking that one shield there from DBS. Uh, saving that focus, knowing I've got a range one shot coming in. And in typical fashion, kind of wish I'd spent the focus last time, but it's fine. So, another shield gone, another shield gone there. Yeah, definitely should not have his strain anymore. Yeah. But I mean, all in all, we've got... And that's the console fire for DFS. So Yeah, he's gone. He's a goner. That is another vulture down. So three shields. Four shields in total now because the buzz droids for three vultures gone and half points on DIS. Not bad. Not bad. No, it's certainly uh, less to worry about with the with the buzzer droids gone. Yeah, and to be honest, just taking out the vultures just is helping Scott have a shorter planning phase. Yeah, exactly. Planning less to think eight about. Ships. Yeah, planning for eight ships. I mean, I struggle if I have five ships on the board. I I tend to yeah. Five is the most I tend to run. I like a I like a list of like four ships, especially where they're all the same initiative. So again, I said it a few times, cheers, Zach. Brilliant list. Yeah, but yeah no, I, 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 I really love this list. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I had a, a favourite, which was, a, I think it was a, I think it was a Soaker, and then four Torrent Fighters was quite nice. They're all Blue Squadron. Um, it might be on points again, but that was nice. And that was a lot of work to not collide into yourself every five minutes. Yeah, because... With that, you could either run it as like one big blob, a soaker, and a mini swarm, or like like two two units of two essentially. Oh, I love the mini swarm. I think I used to run three V nineteens. I had Obi Wan three V nineteens and a and a um, LA eighty back in the day. Oh, that sounds fantastic. That was great fun. Really good fun. But obviously, it's quite clustered in the middle there now, so... That's 22 points now. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what Scott elects to do with his droids, turning back around, anticipating. Okay. I think anticipating me trying to fly past. I was wondering if he was going to do the. Can they do the one? Was it the one tan or the one K that they can do? At one K. One K. Okay. Which I, I think I would have been tempted by, to be honest. Yeah. Turn. And you just fly straight past, and he goes, "Ha ha! I got you." It'd be very difficult for me to avoid that. Yeah. Exactly. But looking more like they want to swing back round and try and catch me on the return. Where is a hyena going? Oh, a nice blocking position there. And then it's just DIS finally getting back into the fray. This could be his moment, you know. Those things don't leave him in the middle of a firefight, but fly them fast. They can be nasty pieces of work. Yeah, I mean, he's covered more board space than any other ship. I mean, he's starting oh, yeah. in the bottom right-hand corner. He's visited the middle of the board, up to the right middle, up to that top right, and then back round. He has seen so much of the space. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, aiming for the 5k, forgetting that I've got to stress, and I didn't trigger false transponders, so having to do a two Oh point, no. So you just get on. another stress and stay there? Uh, no, because if you can't actually complete the manoeuvre, so because I had a stress and I dialed a 5k, and I didn't use false transpond uh, contraband cybernetics because I didn't actually say that. You end up doing a two white instead. Oh, I see. See, now I got confused. Nurse, no, you're quite right. Yeah, which you know what? I'm actually kind of okay with. Like, it's left me. I don't have any tokens, but you know what? I'm not in a terrible position. Did you actually come out on top of your own mistake? You actually might have done that. <sighs> Better than you would, better than you could have expected. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do not have buzz droids attached to Cad Bane's butt, which is a bit of a shame. And then, obviously, red, uh, blue still has the buzz droids, so you have to go over them. But because they're now in the rear guides, when I move off, they disappear. Yeah, that's, that's so, way better. Now, here's where I was expecting the droids to zip off faster. Hence, I did the two talent with red. I was expecting them to yeah. to fly past rather than turn around. So that was a, a little bit disappoint. I was a little bit disappointed with that. But you know what? He's only got what? There's only two things that can shoot him. So he's he's not too bad. A green yeah, too hard would have been better. Too hard would have been better, but yeah, yeah, yeah. How many of you are shooting, shooting that that red uh, so, magnet? So you would have potentially DBS and DIS, so the hyena and the tri fighter. Yeah. And hit him. No, that's not People terrible. People just terrible. don't have shots. But, I mean, I've still got a range zero from blue. I've got Grievous, who now has a range one out maneuver, and I've got that you can. So I've still got three shots. Yeah. Ideally, ideally, I can get rid of DIS. If I can get rid of DIS, then this is will be another solid round for me. This is a good idea. Yeah. Terrible joke, but okay. Uh, so what we've got here is... There is a so DBS has actually just target locked CAD there. Okay. Well, no, at the start of the engagement phase, you basically one calculates to form a coordinate action. You can coordinate ships that do not have 
the network calculation shippability. So it's coordinated um, DIS to get the target lock, but false transponders triggers and gets rid of that, but we will pick nice. that up in a second. We missed that earlier, but it's fine. But this is... Um, I'm not entirely sure who is shooting here, because I looked away from the screen, but I'm pretty sure that's a range one from the pad <laughs> into the tri-fighter, which if it is, that was the wrong way to shoot. Yes, it was. So that was the wrong order to do that in. I should, if that's what's just happened there, I should have shot Grievous first. Okay. Because that was his best shot, wasn't it? Now he has got a shot. Yeah. yeah. This is a two dice from... Oh, so... I... I've now lost track a little bit, but DIS is definitely down. Yeah. And... I think he's trying to debate whether he's going to try and like get the evade or strain me. I want to say strain. I think continuing to try and strain is quite a good idea. Ooh, no, that was that was a, that was a shot into DBS. That shields down and a hull onto DBS. That is good. DIS is gone. It's another two points. That's solid. That is absolutely solid because that means that Scott only has one shot at me this turn. And that is either into CAD or into red. Both would be annoying because neither have evades. But if he shoots into CAD, it's only a two dice shot. If he shoots into red, it's a three dice shot. So I would mm. shoot red if it was me. That's a tough one, because I would be tempted by Cad only because I think he's a more valuable kill. I know they're all the same points, which again is another great thing about this list. But the ability he's got to more, play. Yeah, he's got more to play with, isn't he? And also he's a he's alive, he ain't a droid. Yeah, true. But you've got more dice against players. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I think more dice is always better. So it's a case of a 2v2 unmodified versus a 3v2 unmodified. As we know, red dice are better than green dice. Exactly. So two okay. dice. So yeah, we're going 2v2 and it actually worked out. That shields down on CAD. Okay. Which is really good because those buzz droids will now put a crit onto CAD. Yeah, which it could go onto its hull. Yeah, which that crit yeah. is a hull breach. Oh no. Oh goodness, you know that's that, that, was, that was a good trigger there for Scott. He, he actually played that right. Yeah. Um, going into turn seven, 14 points for myself, six points for Scott. Although there's quite a points disparity. It's not out of reach for Scott. He can bring he can bring this back. I mean, if he takes CAD down, he's only got four hole left. If he can take CAD down, that will bring him back up to eleven points. He's got an opening now, which is which is really good for him. He's landed that vulture on uh, the debris yeah. field, which is an, another great move. That uh, it's another Scott favorite, actually. I think he he played a crack from me when they first came out with that. It was Beautifully done. Yeah. Back in the day where you plan it, so you drop the, you put the um, you put them all in like in range one, so you just land them all, and then they can share the tokens. They don't do anything. Yeah, they just sit. They just sit there like mobile turrets, and you're just like, yeah. right, this is gonna be fun. Um, but I mean, in fairness, it's taken till turn seven for him to actually land them. So yeah. You know, 
He's gone for the pure offense rather than the stationary. Mm -hmm. That's very tight in there. A lot of tight turns, yeah. Doing the one hard to get on there is going to bump. Does so not sneak the base just on to land? I want, I don't know. It's a tough one to call. Train tracking it up. I don't think he is, to be honest. Well, there's... No. He's... He's landed it. He is wow, landed. okay. He's clipped it. Any other list, and you'd be like, oh, no, the corner is clipped. This is horrible. This list, the corner is clipped. Yay, I can land it. I don't know if he's got the angle that he would, that Scott would like that. I think what I, I think I know what he's trying to do. And I think it is just make this sort of little narrow death canyon. Yeah. yeah. You're all, that he wants you to charge me and shoot the, the living daylights out of you. Yeah, he is making it in a, into a tricky spot to sit in. I mean, I think he probably would have maybe liked to have had DBS and that white separatist drone a bit more square on or further mm. round to I think he would have liked to complete the manoeuvre yeah I mean he's got red which sort of picks up that other part of the gap there so yeah so it's not it's not too bad I, I would say he's, he's done alright there oh yeah he's, I mean Blue and Cad are more than likely going to be in that little gully there. Uh, oh, that, does is... that clear the stress of the of red magnet? No, it's white. Okay. Uh, but false transponder codes have been triggered. So we have we finally have the five K turn. Yep. And actions. We are doing the focus to barrel roll. Okay. So adding all of those stress tokens onto CAD, going, you know what? We are just choosing violence. We have. He's got to make it count, though. If it doesn't cap it, he's a goner. True. And has he made enough room in there for blue? Is the question. Is he going to get back up from blue? Yeah. So they don't have a hard blue maneuver. Do they have a bank blue? Uh, oh, let me bring their dial up again. The one and two banks are blue. But that's a nice two bank in there. The one bank would have probably landed, which would, I wouldn't have wanted to land. No. Uh, so do you bank... Uh, boost in to get a shot. Yes. Yes, you do. Taking the calculator, so calculate to boost. Would have been nice to have got a bullseye, but again, it doesn't actually matter because I've been too close for protons. Yeah. You're still getting a three dice shot. Very nice. Yeah, Cad was in a bit of an awkward position. Uh, grievous, sorry. It's funny, on the night I kept getting them mixed up the other way around because I was so used to running a separatist list with Grievous that I kept calling Cad Grievous. And Scott being like, but Grievous over there, I'm like, look, I'm really sorry. I don't run separatists all the time. I just keep getting mixed up. That one. Just that bloke there. The big green one. Um, yeah, just taking the focus with Grievous to try and stay defensive. He doesn't but, have... Um... He doesn't have a vade, does he? Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yeah, so it makes sense. And to be honest, I wasn't really much else I could do. Oh, blank out from red. That's a shame. It would have been nice to have done some damage onto green. But blue has a nice shot there. Spending the calculate two hits into red, so can't wipe red but could potentially cause some issues there cause them to spend that calculate would be nice well 
blank out. Wow. Wow. Okay. Again, debating K2B4. Really solid card. I don't think at any point did I actually say yes. A lot of top have to, to use it, right? Yeah. I think I've just been willing to take that strain knowing that I've got a lot of health. Yeah. Like, against a ship which is lighter in health, you might be... I almost, I think, tie interceptors, you might be less like, no, you can have the evade. I'm not taking a strain on an interceptor. No, definitely not. Yeah, Unless you were going to have a the next shot, maybe you you yeah. you go right. I've, I've I've got to kill you, so I'm gonna take it. I mean, if it was if it was gonna kill, yeah, if it was gonna kill you. Definitely take that strain. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. I mean. Points are points. I mean, that's one one more point there for Separatist down to half. Can I half point DBS here with CAD? Or do I go for the longer shot and try and take out red? It's a... It's a... I take one less shot back into me and get a point. Or I say, I'll just accept it and then hopefully get two. I think the kill is better in this case. Now that he's on, he's on four health. They yeah, both can yeah. be firing two, possibly three dice. Ion cannon. Oh, whiffed it. Oh damn it! Doesn't matter. Oh, I've got the focus. I just remembered. I've got the focus. Do I spend it? No, nope, saving it for defense. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Considering Red also had the Calculate yeah, and a few yeah. Calculates around him, I think he would have been okay. Yeah. Do, now, does Scott go into Red or does Scott go into CAD? If it was me, I'd be going into CAD because yeah. he's he's hurt, he's got that focus, but he does have three range ones to go into Red. It's, it's a tough one. Uh... Red who's the character. who's the closest to CAD? Maybe maybe split him into CAD. Hope. Yeah. And then the, the, the yeah. UBS is. I think it's range one on both. I'd be tempted by CAD. I think maybe with all of them, even just just to get rid of a ship. Yeah. And he's a. It's a big ship. He's a he's a character. He's got a lot more things to play with, and it would get and it would get rid of Bo Katan. True, I mean, Bo Katan's only tried once, but it is a cool ability. Yeah, exactly. So look, going into Blue Magna Guard because of all the range ones. And you know what? I don't disagree. Uh, so... Yeah. Two hits there. Another shield on to Blue. So Blue is shields down now. Next range one. Ooh. Does he spend DBS's calculate? He yeah, you do. I think you do. Another damage, so that is half points on the Magna Guard Protector, so two points for Scott. I think that was really nice. Just one, even if just one hit point every time, very consistent there. And final shot, DBS, does he go, does he double down? Yeah, doubling down on it. I kind of wish, bet you wish she had to calculate now, though. Yeah, I know. They're, they're all gone. And there's the evade. There you go. So Without your tokens. Part, yeah. You're a lot weaker. Greed into Grievous. And that will be the last action of the game because we were getting quite late into the evening. So this is going to be the last shot.
the fact I think that was the last shot, so we are just counting okay. points. So the game is going to end there. 16 points to 9 in my favour. As you said, this game was getting quite late into the evening. We wanted to try and squeeze one more game in this evening. Um, a really good fun game there, though, with Scott. And it, you know what? I might have taken out some of those droids, but it was definitely definitely hurt my head to try and figure out where they were going to be so well played there scott um zach thank you for the list thoroughly enjoyed it want to get yeah. on the road now which is annoying because you have to buy them in packs of two but really looking forward to seeing if i can get another one at some point um, no i love that list it was fantastic yeah yeah It'd be um, great to see what the end result would be had there been one i think scott could have very easily crept up on your killing He's now got two quite nice targets there with CAD and with uh, Blue Magna Card, so it certainly I, wasn't over. Yeah, it definitely wasn't over. Um, I think it would have been a lot closer. I think I might have still squeaked it. Red sneaking around and coming up on green there. Grievous getting into the fight, but I do think it, it, it would have been interesting to see, and um, maybe if we'd have had more time. But... As it is, we ended it there on turn seven. We've been playing for quite a while. We obviously cut the video down slightly. Um, but Fraser, thank you so much for joining us for that. I hope you enjoyed that display of droid on droid action. That's fantastic. And I really, I really, really like that Magna Guard list. I really do. Well, next time your brother's around, you might need to just steal his rogues off him for a little bit to try them out. Don't tempt me, because I will. I will. But, but, yeah. But anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for watching this Patreon submitted list. It was a lot of fun to fly. And if you want to submit this to us, join us on the Patreon with the link in the description below. But for now, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.